not stop. So most of it got in. So the water is going to stay in the red blood cell because cells are made of what? Water. What's going to happen to the carbon dioxide? Diffuse. <gasps> it's going to go out. <laughs> so this is you breathing. <laughs> it's not as easy as, you know. Right. But knowing this is really important, especially when you start learning about um, the urinary system because there's some acid base balance stuff that you haven't gotten into, but you will. Um, but does this make sense? Do you guys want me to go through it a second time? Because I will. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the recording. Does you guys want to take a picture of this? Okay. Do you guys feel like you understand this a little bit better at least? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Minute. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I hope it's, I mean, you, you took a look at the picture, so this is a little bit more friendly. <laughs> yes. When you look at the picture, you will thank me. <laughs> yes. So inside the answer, I also have this going in the other direction, right? A to B to C. So when, usually uh, when you first get your exam, something that's really helpful is if you just kind of memorize this equation. Yeah, so first thing, before you look at any questions, flip your test around, write down this equation, and label them um, carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is the one in the middle. So that way, if you come to a question, you're like, oh crap, what'd she say about bicarbonate carbon ion, carbonic acid? What am I looking at? At least you can look at that equation. Yeah, the equation. yeah, yeah this one. So from, so in the, um, so in the red blood cell, so the tissues, to plasma is going to go from right, no. from left to right. Mm -hmm. But then when you're going to, you know, because right, because carbon dioxide, where does that come from? Tissue. Comes from the tissues, right? And so this is the way carbon dioxide is best transported in the body is what? By, hmm? by, by carbon ion, right? right? Carbonic acid is only in the red blood cell. You don't get it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So we have these inside the plasma, right? And so, how do we get rid of the waste? We have to convert it back again, right? Into water, which our cells need to be, you know, holes. cells. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they'll be able to function. And then it'll also form carbon dioxide, which is the waste product that we want to get rid of. Got it? Okay. Got it. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, so it's 1020, we have 10 more minutes. Do you guys want to go over something else, or are you guys kind of like, my brain is fried? Brain is fried, and yeah. And I still have to go take the test. Oh, yeah, you do, girl. Okay, <laughs> no more. I'm like, I didn't give you this last year. Okay. So I wanted to learn this so you might have different one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is, this is um, red blood cells. This is what we did today. But the respiratory stuff is here. No, I already have that. I just want to make a straw one of this. Oh, the red. Okay, yeah. Do you want extras of all of them? Yeah, just. Just this one? Yeah. Okay. So I'll email you. Because you always mix my email. That's pretty good when you know the patient. Because you know the baby has a same name. So I'm working on email like I said. That's what I do all the time. Right. I'm getting my questions. Yeah, that's a good. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a picture of that so that I can get it to you. But you can take this. Oh, I'm gonna make you buy me coffee. Yeah. So that will you just don't quit. Yeah. Oh no, there's not. This is all raw. So this is. Oh yeah, your coffee. There's three, and then this is number four. So I know these are all kind of crazy. Nice so the first worksheet. So for That's those of you like right now, for those of you who I gave the blood worksheets to, the first one is over red blood cells. The second one is over white blood cells. The third one is over platelets and blood clotting. And you two should not be talking. You should be listening. No, sorry, no, I'm kidding. And then the last one is over um, blood typing. Okay. Does that make sense? So red blood cells, the first worksheet. Second worksheet, white blood cell, and it's all labeled. It's all labeled on there, so it should be okay. But um, yeah, no problem. Yeah, and if and if you need if you need answers, just let email me. I just give you my yeah. email because I have the same email. I think you always mess with the names. Yeah, yeah. 
I got you. Okay, bye. Thank you. Do you mind getting extra those two? What? Extra blood? Both of those. Uh, respiratory? Res yeah. Both chapters. Yeah. Does anyone want any more extras? Yeah. I think I have. Do you have the blood up there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to get the blood. You want to get blood? Okay. Oh, she handed it to me. Yeah, she handed it to you. She didn't give it to me. Well, you didn't say much. Because I have, I want to fill it up by memory. Okay. If I don't have it, I can't fill it out, then. Oh, I'm not filling it after you've done it. Not necessarily after I've done it, but once I'm getting ready to test yourself for the exam. I take those and I go through it, and if I don't know something, okay. I need to go back on and study it. Yeah, and I have... Well, that makes perfectly good sense. Yeah, and I, like I told you, I have free printing, because I didn't pay to print all these worksheets, right? So if that helps you to oh, fill yeah. it out and stuff, anything that'll help you, I can print out. I mean, look, I still have extras. Yeah, so yeah. I think, but I have a session this afternoon, so... Um, but you um, can always print, I know, I know. I always, I I always print extras. Be great. Yeah, all the time. Oh, oh, she walked out. Oh. Okay, um, another thing quickly. This chart, okay? You guys got this reference sheet, it's number four. Mm -hmm. So, are these you guys doing the video? <laughs> um, so, you know when you have those equations, let me just pull that out. Um, let's see, let's see. Maybe it's, oh, it's number five, I think. It's the very last oh, one. Oh, goodness. Okay. No, it's not there. Oh, Reference. There we go. So you know, oh my goodness. Okay. So okay. So a good way to think about it, capacities. So when you think about the word, um, I don't know if you can see the board. Okay. So whenever you think of the word capacity, capacity. So you got your inspiratory capacity. Look at these arrows. And these arrows correlate with these boxes below them, okay? Capacities are um, at the end of the equations. So what I did is I did inspiratory reserve volume, and you may have to look up these definitions. Title, I would look up these definitions. <laughs> <laughs> Title volume, expiratory reserve volume, and residual volume. So the volumes make up the capacity, right? So you have your vital capacity, right? This is made up of inspiratory reserve, Tidal volume and expiratory reserve. Add those up, you get this one. Okay. You got it? Uh -huh. For the inspiratory capacity, that is inspiratory reserve volume and the tidal volume. Add those up and you'll get inspiratory capacity. Functional residual capacity, you just add those two volumes up. This volume I just put here because I don't want to like leave a blank in case there's someone. So it's the same thing. Um, so these two, so ER, ERV plus RV equals FRC. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. it does. And then all of them make up total lung capacity. Does that make more sense than looking yeah. at these arrows? But yes. when you get the exam or quiz, I don't know what, you may get arrows, so you won't get a nice little box. But this is supposed to help you understand this plus this plus this equals this column, right? So, all, so you add three things up to get this. You add two things up to get this one. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And then you add all of them up because they all make up this column. Okay. Thank Does that you. make a lot more sense? <laughs> you should give that to Janet. Yeah. Well, for her like her lectures. Yeah, yeah. I sh yeah, I should. <laughs> Am I getting around to it? Yeah, I will. Um, you, would you, do you guys find that helpful though? Oh, yeah. Very helpful. Okay. Good, good. And there's a worksheet that you will have. I put the answers on this one for sure because I wanted to make sure that even if you didn't email me, you got it. But this is worksheet number two, reading mechanisms. Mm -hmm. So she, she may have you like label these arrows or something, something similar to this. I don't quite remember, but know it. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs>